Came up out the womb of man With everything that you demand You could say I had a plan Way before I had a fan Some would probably call it luck I just call it being blessed You ain't never did the work But you wanna be the best Lately I can never stress Never better, better yet Might have had a thing for you Show on the better bet I, I digress, I let it rest Go and get another check I could always see my future I bet they could never guess Guessing they get it cause look at me now And then look at yourself in the mirror I know they doubted my thesis but they doubted Jesus And right now I'm making it clear Clearly these people don't know where they going And lately I feel like the man with the map I got this shit out the mud you could give me the word And I'll probably give it right back Back of the bus I was scraping the change Back in my head I was living a life Back in my job I was losing the focus And trying to find ways to get back to the mic All of this working ain't working I felt like a liar and I cannot lie to my soul so as you can see, we are in the new car, BMW 728i. I didn't go for the 740, purely and simply because it would have been absolutely horrendous on fuel. And also, as you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I've actually had this car for around about three weeks. Obviously, it is super low at the moment. I mean, even getting out of where I am now um, is gonna be, well, it's not gonna be fun. Um, we'll have to do a little bit of gun on the angle here. Oh, Pretty much everywhere that I go, it does scrape one way or another, so it is going to be raised up just a tiny bit. The back end is mega, mega low. It's been set up to obviously look like a low rider and be a low rider. Um, we've obviously got the auto box. We've done 190,000 miles. We said nine owners from new. Um, yeah, there's not actually even like masses of service history, but there is a bit. Um, but it drives so, so nice. It's such a chill car. You know, you can just literally sit back in the seat. It doesn't encourage you to drive fast. Having the kids and the wife in the car is still super comfy, even on the coilovers. I mean, these are some fairly bumpy country roads, but we're about to get into a nice little smooth section now. And I'll just talk to you a little bit more about the car and sort of what it's got on it. So, as you look in from the B-roll, it does look absolutely gangster. It is so cool. It's probably one of the coolest cars I've owned. Like, it's definitely going to be expensive when it goes wrong. And it's definitely going to be, and I say when it goes wrong, because it will go wrong at some point. Um, and it's also going to be really juicy like i put 20 quid in yesterday and it was on a quarter it's got an 83 litre tank so god knows what it costs to fill the thing up but yeah i put 20 quid in yesterday got me a quarter i've done 43 miles and i am nearly empty so it's bad on fuel but that aside like i say it drives absolutely fantastically the auto gearbox is amazing it's really really smooth there's a couple of little knocks and obviously the plastics are a little bit dodgy because it's like 20 years old you know it's a really really old car but i'm pretty sure the list price i mean i'll have to confirm with my paperwork later but i'm pretty sure the list price of this car when it was new was something like 70 grand with all the optional extras so it is ridiculous like it's got electric seats it's got um cup holders everywhere it's got the dual zone climate control it's got the six cd changer in the boot which probably back in 1999 was like quite a, quite a cool thing to have. The sound system is fantastic. Um, I'll try and insert a clip now, but there is a massive, massive sub in the boot as well, which has been wired up. It's a thousand watt, and has been wired into the whole sound system. So if you do go to like car shows and stuff, if you're into that sort of thing, you can put up, have some not, and I've been snooped off down or something, and it's just, yeah, it's just epic. Um, this time of year is probably the worst time of year to buy it because I wasn't going to keep it in the garage, but now I am because it is a little bit rusty on the arches and obviously in places it is a little bit rusty just because it's really old. Um, but I'm just going to pull over here because it's going to be a lot easier to speak through the specs um, and exactly what I've got on the car. So, the sort of spec list on this car, the modification wise, we're running E39 coilovers, which obviously this is an E38, but the E39 coilovers work with these cars, and that's what the guy that's built this, that's exactly what he does, um, you know, day in, day out. He builds these sort of low riders and he specs them up like this. So it's got BMW 19 inch X6 wheels with them coilovers. And to be honest, I don't think it needs anything else with the sound system. Um, I'll try and also put a clip in now. It's got this thing on the dashboard which is called Snooper. Um, or something like that and basically it tells me whenever there's a police car up ahead or there's a mobile speed camera or there's just one of these normal speed literally any speed camera that will pick up whether it's mobile or not um, if I'm coming anywhere near a police car that thing will tell me now obviously with this being so low I'm not really going to be 
speeding anywhere because I can't. Um, but as I say, it is quite a nifty little feature to have. Quite a few common problems on this already that are like arising that since I've had it, I kind of like, yeah, okay. And ever since I've been in the forums, you see a lot of the guys saying like about the pixels on the dashboard. Um, mine aren't the best. Like I say, we're on 190,911 to be precise. So we've done a fair few miles. Um, outside the temperature is 14 degrees. And a lot of people say when it's colder, the pixels start to become back to life a little bit. Now, I can still see them, they're not dead. But that's a little issue that if they do die, that's going to have to get addressed. The climate control works amazing. The aircon probably needs regassing. It's still pretty cold, but I think it needs a bit of regassing. Um, but yeah, guys, like if any of you think of anything else you'd like to see done with this, or you want to see it out, or you want to come out on it even, just let me know because it is so cool. Um, I absolutely love it. Like this is what I've needed for so long. Like I've changed my cars, as you guys know, so many times. It's impossible to keep up with my wife. How she has stayed with me, I do not know. Um, but yeah, we changed again. I'm hoping to keep this for a while, and I know I say that every single time, but I have already owned this. And if you watch my Instagram, as I said earlier, if you watch my Instagram, you'll have seen that I've had this for probably three weeks, probably already two or three weeks already, which. For me, considering some of the other cars I've had, that's actually quite a long time. Now, I haven't driven it every single day because I've had a few days off work here and there. Um, and the only issue that I'm finding with it is because it's so low, I knew this when I got it anyway, but because it's so low, I do a lot of fishing. And a lot of places that I go fishing, um, the ground is super undulating and you could have big dips and stuff and potholes. And obviously that creates an absolute nightmare for a modified car like this. So. Yeah, but it's definitely going to have to come up a little bit. I mean, even if it's just an inch at the back and an inch at the front, I don't want it to lose its, like, stance and how it looks because I think it does look really, really nice. Like, you'll see in some of the B-roll shots, it is so long. The car is 16.4 foot long or something. It is ab it's an absolute barge, um, hence the title of the video. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just a monster. Like, parking it is a nightmare. Just anywhere you go in it is a nightmare, and I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if it's a super flat road like this, it's fun, it's a cruiser. If you're on like M25, A12, any A or B road, and most M roads, as long as they're not got massive potholes, you're sweet. But if you hit a pothole in this thing, it is literally gonna feel like your head is gonna wobble off. Um, but other than that, guys, yeah, we haven't really got much more to say. Um, I think, um, going forward, all I'm going to try and do is just try and stay on top of the maintenance. If there's anybody watching this now that's got this far in the video, thank you very much. And please do let me know um, things that at this mileage I should probably be changing because already I can see that the power steering pump has got a slight bit of seepage and a bit of a leak which we need to address. Um, and there's a couple of other things under there that are obviously going to be so old that need doing because without a shadow of a doubt at some point soon something's going to break and then I won't be able to get to work and I'll be cycling into work nine miles which won't be fun so as I say although I do low mileage um, I think keeping it in the garage is going to try and help it keep in a little bit better condition um, but yeah like I say if any of you guys know anything that kind of just would need a bit of refreshing whether it be the alternator whether it be some of the belts or pulleys just let me know and when I next get it serviced, because I only had a service a thousand miles ago and it had some new injectors and it has some new spark plugs, I think when it gets to the next service, which I'll probably do in like 5,000 miles time, just let me know what I'm going to kind of, you know, what would be a good thing to change. Um, if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you click the bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post a new video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.